back to ITV. Uh, so this is pretty much the intro to the intro for our GT Bond session. So right now it's the night before the session and uh, I've decided to actually make a few plastic uh, soap bars uh, using a silicone mold for the session because I've heard that it's very popular when you go there since bait isn't really allowed. Uh, you buy like, you know, six inch and eight inch soft plastics and you'll cut the body and actually cast it to catch the fish there when they're like creating like a feeding frenzy. But I'm gonna show you guys what you can do to actually avoid doing that is if you have any old soft plastics laying around in your house that you're not using anymore or old soft plastics that you've collected over the years of fishing, uh, whether it's branded or not branded, as long as you're not using it and you can put it to good use if you are a frequent uh, GT Pond uh, angler. Uh, so yeah, um, all you need to do this is basically an old microwave. Uh, it's a, I recommend not using your house microwave, the one that you know heat food in. Uh, please buy a separate one. It's pretty cheap. Uh, you can find them on carousel for like 20, 30 bucks. Uh, a silicone uh, soap mold, uh, a jar of Vaseline, and a virus cup. And that's pretty much it. And of course, plastics. Make sure that they're not Z-Man. Uh, you can put the Z-Man somewhere here. So make sure that they are not Z-Man because Z-Man is TPE, which means it's very stretchy and it's very hard to deal with. Uh, just make sure that they're PVC uh, plastic and uh, you're good to go. So let's go on inside the uh, workshop space and make my plastic so far. Okay guys, I'm gonna do the first part, which is probably like the most tedious part because your hands are gonna get kind of oily and then you have to go to the bathroom after that or your sink. Uh, but yeah, so I'm just gonna put the Vaseline on the uh, silicone so far mold so that when I'm actually demolding the plastic in about like uh, half an hour after pouring it it's not going to stick to the mold and I can actually go in for another round so that'll be very efficient so I'm just using the regular Vaseline and uh, let's start doing another one so I already did the first one earlier on prior to doing this uh, segment uh, so yeah let's just show you guys how I'm going to do the second one right now it should take like five minutes not that long so basically uh, I have a whole bunch on my finger and I get in there Get all the corners, all the sides. That'll take quite a bit. Just like this. Get every little corner, every little crevice. The top a little bit. And do the next one. So I'm pretty much gonna do this for the remaining four, and then I'll check back in with you guys. Give me a few seconds. Okay, so now that my uh, silicone uh, soap molds are done, now comes the fun part. Now I get to reuse and recycle some of the plastics and some of the colors that we have been experimenting with over the past couple of months or the past couple of years that have just been collecting dust. So now it's a pretty good way for me to recycle them and actually put them to good use over the GT Bond. Uh, so I could be very selective about it and uh, dig through and make specific colors, but since I don't really know what color the fish like over there, where if they're picky or not, I'm just gonna pick a bit of everything and just see what color comes out. Uh, if it's not a color that I like, I can always go behind me and pick out a few colors that I have here, a few of the pigments, and then add it in and maybe come up with something that I like. Okay, but yeah. So all I have to do is pretty much just take my chunks of plastic that I have access to, uh, cut them into small little bits, just like this. So this, for example, is like an edging color that we tried. It was pretty effective. And then I have like a pink here that we tried to make. I'm not using this anymore. So let's uh, recycle this, put some of this inside. All right, so the reason why I'm actually cutting it to smaller bits is so that when I do put it inside the microwave, uh, it's gonna heat evenly and nothing's gonna like burn because that's a pretty big issue uh, when it burns. It's not, it doesn't smell nice. It gets very hard and it's just not a pleasant experience. Uh, so here's some weird green that we tried. Uh, not a very effective color in our opinion, so that's why we didn't really make it, but we still have some extras, so let's put some of these inside. Now you might be thinking, like, why don't I just bring a whole chunk of this to the GT Bond? Uh, well, I want it to be in a nice uh, shape so that I can cut it very evenly and I can actually weigh it later on. Uh, so yeah, so let's take some of this, uh, what, V1 grey prawn that we kind of improved on. Uh, so let's cut a lot of this up, throw that inside. Uh, so let's cut this up to a smaller chunk, something I can deal with. All right. Okay, so I'm just gonna continue cutting all this and then uh, once I get to the next step where I already put this inside the microwave and it's nice and uh, hot, up to about, I say about 180 degrees is the ideal temperature, I'm gonna start pouring it inside my mold. So yeah, I'll see you guys in a few seconds. 
Okay, so now that we're done with all the chopping and we're actually putting some of our defects uh, that we poly checked uh, all the way inside here, uh, some of the used plastics that some of the customers as well as our friends have given back to us, uh, which is actually very nice. Um, so yeah, let's put this inside the microwave. Let's make sure that my settings are correct. Uh, let's go uh, high. Make sure it goes for 20 minutes. And uh, now we wait. So once that is up to temperature, Check back with you guys. So yeah, if you want, you guys can guess what color uh, it's gonna turn out to be. I have no idea. I was just picking whatever and throwing whatever inside. Uh, so make a guess, leave it in the comment section down below if you want. And uh, yeah, let's see what color will come out with. Hey okay, guys, so it's been about seven minutes uh, since I started the microwave. So if you guys are intending to use at home, uh, what I suggest is every now and then you take it out and uh, you take a middle spoon and you be very very careful. You give it a nice stir uh, just to get it going. So everything is cooking evenly and everything is uh, melting evenly. So actually it's looking pretty brown, huh guys, uh, by the looks of it. Uh, but yeah, just be very careful. Wear a glove if you have one. So yeah, let's put this back in the microwave. Right, another five minutes, ten minutes should be good. Okay, as you guys see, it's at about 179 degrees Celsius, which is right where I want to be. Um, so yeah, all I need to do now is pour it inside the uh, soap, uh, the silicone soap molds. So yeah, let's go do that now. So maybe some of you guys have guessed it correctly. I have no idea what color this is. I'm just gonna call it. Uh, any suggestion of the name? <laughs> no idea what this is, but it's a color that's gonna work tomorrow. Okay, so I'm gonna use my left hand to pour it so you guys can actually see what I'm doing. So here's the silicone mold, which I vaselined up at the beginning of the video. Uh, so yeah, let's just slowly pour it in, nice and even. Pretty much like that. Put it to the top, and then now onto the next one. Uh, so it's pretty brown on the top. Not so wet. Alright, so that's six pieces done, and I don't have enough plastics for the rest, but I'll just do as much as I can. So I'll probably get one out of this. Yeah. Okay, um, so I'm gonna go ahead and bring out some more plastics and finish up the rest of these, and uh, I'll show you guys the end result uh, in a couple of seconds. So yeah. Okay, so I ended up eating up another fork up so I can finish off the rest of my uh, plastic soap bars. So let's go ahead and do this. So this does take a lot longer to cool than using the uh, aluminium molds that we use. Uh, so I do need to sit for I know, I say about another half an hour before I can demold them. Uh, so let me go and occupy myself and I watch the video. So yeah, catch you guys in a couple seconds once we're demolding them and then I'm gonna head over to the GP pond after that. Well not now, tomorrow. <laughs> okay guys, uh, let's just demold it and then uh, get over to the GT pond. So if you guys want, this is how it looks like. It does look like a bar of soap, as you guys can see, pretty good. So I might weigh, I might not. Um, if I do, I'll let you guys know how much it weighs, uh, how, how heavy it is. So yeah, it's gonna be molded. Now it is a little bit oily because of the Vaseline that we put in earlier. Uh, let me just take that all out, let me show you. So in total I have 12 pieces, so I think this should be okay for my fishing tomorrow. Uh, yeah, pretty excited. Mm -hmm. 
time. All right, so the ones that I did uh, before I did these are still a bit hot, so I need to be careful. But for the most part, they're okay. Okay, so these are my 12 so bars. My hands are a bit oily, so let's wipe it inside here. Okay, so I'm pretty much ready for my GT Pond, so uh, let's head on over there. Alright guys, so I've arrived at the GT Pond right now. Uh, so I'm here with Hakim and everyone else, and we're going to be fishing for the giant Trevelli ride. Yeah, today we're using uh, the new product by <laughs> IA Angler, it's called Sabun, you see? It's a block, it's a block of blocks, then you, you cut it into tiny pieces, you see? Uh, this thing works. Oh, but okay, anyway, yeah. Okay, Sorry. so we're gonna go try and catch some giant trevelys over here at the pond. Uh, but it's not a new product, huh? This is just making it for fun. <laughs> Something that's useful at the pond. Uh, but yeah, let's get to fishing. So uh, after you, huh? After you. Yeah. After you. After there you. you. <laughs> yeah, mix it again. <laughs> All right, so teach me how to fish here. So yeah, basically, to... when Erin throws the bait in, right? When uh -huh. you see the ball over there, uh -huh. right? You try to cast accurately as possible over there. Inside the yeah, when inside he, the bait. Uh, you see, later he will throw the bait ball. Ah. Yeah. And you wait a few seconds. When the, the fish don't take, uh -huh. when the fish don't take, you quickly release back in. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. So just do that over and yeah, over. Yeah, over huh? and over again. You have All to right. Okay, hey guys. Sounds like fun. Let's get to fishing. Yeah. Oh, nice, 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 nice. What the? <laughs> oh, struggling, you know. <laughs> what the? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> what new product? <laughs> Saboon! Yeah, you see? Look at your lunch, take it off. Oh, nice. Oh, very fun, huh? Oh, man. Yeah, photo. Photo, photo, photo. Okay, okay. You stand here. Stay and belly, yeah? Yeah, okay. So, what the the pillar is now? Alright, see you later. Awesome, yeah. Oh, fun stuff. <laughs> Oh, was it, Mr. Gabriel? Oh, tired, huh? I want to go back. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, nice, nice. Yes, yes, nice, nice. <laughs> <laughs> Hi Ali, uh, Mr. Dong. I'm uh, training for me soil.
Belum lagi, dia belum snap belum lagi dong. Ha, ah, okey dah. Nice. Oh, oh. 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 Oh, Oh man! <laughs> But how do you catch the MJ? Oh nice, nice, awesome, yes! Okay, come on, come on! Die, come on, come on! Strong, how the fish? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Oh, no. What happened? Oh, burst. Oh. <laughs> Alright guys, so we've actually come to the end of the video. So if you guys enjoyed today's episode, do give it a thumbs up. And uh, I just want to apologize for it being so long. I didn't really expect it to be like a 20 minute video. Uh, but yeah, having said that, it was a really enjoyable session over at the GT Pond. And uh, I can't wait to get back and try and book another session and uh, test out my other tackle that I have. So I think for that session, I actually borrowed a heavier reel and a heavier rod because mine, uh, I didn't really like trust it enough to actually go and tackle some of these GTs at the pond because they really do fight really hard and they uh, fight quite dirty as well and they really find the structures as you guys saw inside the video. Uh, but yeah, with that being said, I'll see you guys in next week's episode. Uh, so stay tuned for that and uh, see you guys next week. Woo!